Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kimini here, and right here with me is the iTel S15 Pro. This is basically gonna be a review of the smartphone after two days of use. But before we head into the full review, be the cool guy or girl who clicks on the subscribe button and also clicks on the bell icon to stay notified for future videos like this one. So without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. First things first, we're going to talk about what comes off the box here and the iTel devices so far have great packaging with the S15 Pro not being an exception. After the whole dismantle, you get to see the device and let's get that out of the way for now. Next up are two boxes with one housing the battery and protective case while the other has a 5W charger, a micro USB cable for data transfer and the good looking earpiece. Now setting this device up was pretty much straightforward as we have the fingerprint option and face unlock here which are the basics as usual. Design wise, we have the regular display with a water drop notch at the front, the rear houses a triple camera setup which are 8 megapixels in specification, an LED flash and the iTel branding to the bottom. While the top has the 3.5mm jack port, the bottom has a grille opening to the left for the mouthpiece, a micro USB port and the down firing speaker grills to the right. The left side of this device is quite bland while the right side has got the volume rocker and power button keys. It is also essential to note that this device has an openable rear and a removable battery. Some other things you can see here include the dual SIM slots and the micro SD card slots also. The display you find on the iTel S15 is approximately 6.1 inches and comes at an HD plus resolution and that means your YouTube streams will be capped at 720p. Though this display might not be so bright when compared to flagship devices, it is very much usable and vibrant. Color representation here tends to have a warm shift to it. One other thing I noticed on this display was the improvement in touch responsiveness when compared to the predecessor, the S14. Now let's talk about the camera on the S15 Pro. I've basically been testing this device for the past two days and I have some things to point out. First off, iTel has always wanted to give the user of the S series great photos for a fraction of the price and you tend to notice that dip when taking photos. By the way, you get a decent triple 8 megapixel camera setup at the rear and thoughts have features such as the bokeh or portrait mode here. Photos coming off these lenses were quite usable and that's especially if you take photos of well lit subjects. For the night mode here, the best thing you have for your rescue is a flash at the rear. Here are some photos you get from the iTel S15 Pro. Coming over to the front facing camera, you have a 16 megapixel sensor to take great selfies and the display acts as an LED flash to light up the subject in low light. Photos from this front camera are pretty much okay, but you notice a ton of beautification thingy going on here. Both cameras take videos at 1080p and here are samples. the front camera test for the um, iPad S15 Pro. One thing I noticed about the videos coming off this front camera is the fact that you get a red tint to the videos here. If you'd want to correct that, you might have to apply your filter in post. Other than that, we have a decent camera for the price on the smartphone. So before I talk about the performance on the iTel S15 Pro, let's get a quick rundown of the specs. You have an octa-core processor clocked at 1.6 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB internal storage, a 4G LT support here and the device runs on Android 9 Pie. When it comes to the basics, the iTel S15 Pro has got you covered. Activities such as using social media apps, surfing the web and playing 2D games are quite smooth here. But when you want to take things a notch to run graphic and RAM intensive games, you simply would end up disappointed as this device is meant to cater for the entry level audience. Yet another thing I think I really did love about this smartphone is the OTG support that has come to this series. Something most people who would be going for these devices have always longed for. You can also expand the memory here up to 128GB using the micro SD card slot. Now massive battery life isn't the focus on the S series but you get a decent 3000mAh battery here. Charging it up with the 5W charger from within the box took roughly 2 hours while turned off and the phone did serve a full day's use in my test case and that was it. The pricing of this device is definitely one of the upsides that lets you forgive it for the little shortcomings. I wouldn't really say it's got those as cons, especially when I consider the price of the smartphone. You can get the iTel S15 Pro for 28,000 Naira, which converts to about $77, and it honestly can't get any better for a device with those features. It actually does bring in value for money here. Now my verdict on the iTel S15 Pro. 
this device is well suited for people who are just getting into the smartphone space and really want to have this immersive experience but for the fraction of the price. You can pretty much run your day-to-day -day smartphone activities, get to save decent memories in forms of photos while still enjoying and having a taste of what it's like to use a good device but for a cheaper price. This device isn't for you if you'd be running heavy games, would always run multiple apps concurrently and want something that has a two days battery life. By the way, the P33 has got you covered on that for a cheaper price. And there you have it, my review on the iTel S15 Pro. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Other than that, it's goodbye and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Quidate.